five in qualifying. Not a bad score. Just shows the sort of difference between the scores. Here are number one seed, shot a 6-6-5. Number seven seed, uh, Valeria Goncharova, shot a 6-5-1. So fourteen points between six positions. She uh, first match nervy win, I'd call that one thirty-seven. Thirty-seven, thirty-six, yeah. yeah. Second match one four three one three five against against Minaric, who just shot, of course, yeah. our, our European bronze medalist. So this could be a pretty close match. Absolutely. Yeah, we see the coaches, also the agents coming out to the field. I believe one of those agents is Roman Hoviodowski, who himself was a European champion in 2012. Yeah. Gold medalist in Slovenia. Denmark, their archers always shoot really nice. Yeah, Denmark, especially this year, have come through strong, both yeah. in adults and juniors. We yeah. see the archers waiting in the tunnel to come out to the field to play. Probably yeah. just trying to think over the game plans, just thinking how they're going to go about this match. Trying to expel any, any nerves that they can before they get to the field. Yeah. Now, Gontrova looks really focused. Uh, Gontrova looks, looks in the zone here. She, she, looks, she looks ready for this. Molnar looks relaxed, as I'm going to yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> two, two very different approaches so far from, yeah. what, from what we can see. Can we see the judge out on the, on the field of play now? Yep. Nick on the archers. As we said from back and looking at qualifying, we know that these archers are both very strong competitors. Yeah. Again, I'm, uh, I'm going to put my commentator's curse on the uh, experience of uh, Dane's skill. Once again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we see from the last match, but experience may not always prevail. Uh, I did see... Gontrova and shoot a lot of tens at points. Yeah, Gontrova's yeah. second count was Hydra. Number two from the Ukraine, Valeria Gontrova. has got a fairly large collective in the crowd as well. That all counts. Also got a very famous archer's name, Gontrova. So yeah. He used to shoot for Russia as a uh, World Cup winner. It's good status. That's a bit of a legacy. It could be a relation, could not be, but we never know. If it is, then based upon the other Gontrovers out there, so it's a lot of talent coming through. Ukraine shooting first? I believe so, yeah. This is once again just, just like the last match. It's going to be those first couple of arrows just to get your technique in the form again, just to make sure you like your shots are strong. Yeah. You do really want to come out and lead on a strong shot. It's there, the same Hoyt that Stutzman shoots. That is the Hoyt freestyle, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Oh, good turn. Good turn. Good turn. That's how you start a match. That is. Very good. Then we see Mola come in for her first shot as well. After that 10, right. you really want to try and lead out on 10 as well, if you can. She's laid it down, game on. That's another hey. 10, there we go. Yeah. Gotcha. These guys look uh, comfortable. They do, yeah. yeah. They, look like, they look like they're very ready for this field. Oh, Ooh, that being said. She looks shocked. I'm just wondering, do you think... I think rain getting in rollers and sliders and yeah, certainly um, can can really affect it. You see, the only thing shooting in the stadium is the uh, back where we are in the commentary box and where the coaches are. They have the roof a little bit as covering, but out on the shooting line, the arch is just totally exposed to the wind and the rain. Of course, yeah. the wind not too much of a factor today. Back in the tent on top of the first one. But yes, if. Mola can shoot a nine here. She'll she'll take a point away from the first end. And she's it's better. Lead. Two point lead. Some good arrows down there. That's a good shot. Controver is really shocked with that seven going right out. Yeah, I get a feeling that her release might have gone a bit early. A bit of water or something. Yeah, a piece of uh, piece of water in the lens. Yeah. We've seen that as quite an issue during the week. Um, if you get any water in your peep site for the compounders, which is basically a small ring of metal that is in your string. If you get a big drop of water in there, that can really uh, decide a day of shooting for you. Because obviously if you can't see anything, of course famously it was uh, Sarah Lopez in Shanghai last year. Got water in her peep and missed her first three shots. Yeah. So it can make a big difference. Yeah, she shot a clarifier that. Yeah. She was silent, right? 
happened to the Swedish team during the week, I believe, as well, during their team rounds. One of their archers has some water in his peep sight. And only just about managed to get a shot away before the time ran out. Yeah, you'll see people come down a little and start furiously blowing on their string. <laughs> Yeah, if you see someone come come away from their anchor point and blow on this ring, yeah, that's exactly why. Okay, so scores confirmed: twenty-nine, Denmark, twenty-seven, two-point lead. So Ukraine's going to carry on shooting first. Okay. Second end's on the way. Yep, and two. Just like in the last match, Gontaro was going to want to lead off with some 10s here, just to really yeah. start to anchor the pressure down onto Mola if she can. Yes. Obviously, based on her first and as we said, her 10 count is high. Yeah, she's yes. going to shoot a lot of 10s. I, I mean, three shots, two 10s, that's not to be laughed at. That looked good. No, just Nine. under. Four. Just a tad low. She really shoots them. She does. Really she, brave she, 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 she means those shots, certainly. A very strong technique. Nice. Nine, well executed. Is that court? That's a nine. Yeah. Nine, start again. Four, nine. Here we see two archers with two very different techniques. Just like before the tunnel, nine. Mola looks very relaxed. Nine, so you're one just low. Both archers still looking really. Uh, they look very comfortable. Yeah, they look very happy here. It's a trip nine. It's all hanging a bit on the low side. Yeah. Another chance here for Mono to get a get That's away. a very nice technique. Yeah. That's strong. That's good. Ooh. And that Ooh. is just out. Yeah. Again, it's very close. Very close shoot. You guys are. Rain is getting heavier. Yeah, the rain is getting, yeah, as we said, the rain is, is getting heavier. Yeah. Obviously on the feed, we can't really sell too much, but trust us, we're sitting match side. The rain is pretty strong. We are under a gazebo. We're, we are dry, <laughs> we're fine. The archers, on the other hand, are exposed to the elements entirely yeah. today. Thing is, it's trying not to get cold as well. It's yeah. really important in this. The second that you get cold, you know, your hands start to yeah. sort of cramp up at times if you, if you get a bit stiff out there. It gets yeah. it increasingly harder to make a shot. But I'm going to say more so for Mola because she is a trigger shooter. So yeah. if her thumb gets a bit cold and a bit numb, she isn't going to know where she's anchoring. No. Unfortunately. No. Yes, thank you very much. So here we see the archers right just trying to keep warm. Got their coats over the shoulders, trying to keep dry, keep warm. This match, though, I still think it's wide open. Two points. Oh, yeah, two points with three nine, to go. Nine to shoot. This can go anyway. That's a well open match, yeah, by far. I always think when it's one or two points, shoot him first. I always think you've got hit, man, because you get to put the, put the pressure on. You can really start cranking the pressure down on guys, yeah. yeah. Really playing, yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously, we always want to shoot tens, but no more so than during match play. And three, gone to over, leading off. Still no wind. It is dead calm out here. That rain is straight. <laughs> yep, just falling straight down. <laughs> Pretty even. <laughs> I look good. No, oh, he's he's the pulling open. left again. Not on left. They're up there, hanging left to the. They're smashing them. A mildest shot. Very good looking shot, number nine. Okay. It's gone to over. Coming again for a shot. See if she can do better this one. It's not again. Oh, it still looks calm, cool. collected. Very cool. Very happy a bit. Oh, it's a wide eight. Whoa. But after gone to over, eight, nine in her first two shots. Yeah. Doesn't make too much difference. Still two points in it. No eight. No break. Gone to over. Didn't take advantage. Uh, Katia could uh, take her lead up to four for the ten here. And she nice does. Shot. Very nice, a good shot, four point lead. The, um, the other thing, oh, no, we were talking about water in the peep site, but it'll say water in your scope. Water in your scope, yeah. 
Yeah. That, that, is a, that, is a, that is a killer. Yeah. Which dot do I aim with? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the Ranger up or the actual dot? <laughs> Multiple options for aiming right now. It's hard to tell, you know. They it is, yeah. Like dots and there. Uh, Obviously on the back end of a magnified lens as well. Yeah, so even though we've got no wind, you've got a lot of other... There's a lot going on. A lot going on. Yeah. Ah. We, we see so one of the big sponsors of the event, Sea Park Hotel, holding uh, most of the athletes' teams this weekend. Yeah. I'm looking up at the big screen right now. <laughs> you away. Oh, no. Oh, it's gone. Okay, the bit's gone. <laughs> Maybe like you'll, you'll uh, yeah. see us down here again. Yeah. There we are again. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Hello from our dry commentary box. I love the commentary box. I'm the disc here. Yeah. It's quite a quite a rowdy little crowd build oh, the behind the behind the archers. Some uh, shouting going on. From where we are, we can't quite see how big the crowd is, but it sounds, they sound like they're hearing falls. I'd say at least 10,000. 10,000, easily. 10, the stadium's full. It's a sellout crowd out here. Yeah, no one's allowed <laughs> from that. <laughs> so, four point lead now to Merla. Goncharova needs to find those tens. She does, certainly. She got those her into this position. Exactly. Yeah. You know, two points and two in. Or yeah, so like, they both shot 143 in the, in the semis. Yeah, so which is big scores. You know, she can gain two points over the next two ends, yeah. shoot off, and by her record getting it, Gon Schroeder appears to be a bit of a shoot off specialist. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. Gon Schroeder's next shot. Looks very still, just calm. Bit of a long hold for Gon Schroeder. Yeah. And That's good. Ooh. I am going to say that he's just um, out. Spot has called it a 10. Back on our screen. I think that's out. <laughs> they were, we're all sat on the wrong side to see, aren't we? I don't know, so there's so, those yeah. two points I was talking about. Fourth end, big end. Fourth end is a turning point in the match, it always is. It's gone driver can shoot with another 10 here. Which she does, good X. X. First I still X think her first shot's out. <laughs> yeah. I'm still not confident with that. It's going to be a liner. Milo comes into anchor. Nice. I imagine the Danish agent will be having a good look at it. Oh yeah, absolutely. We're going to see a lot of judges up there. Nine. That's a nine. That's another point. Top though, half the lead. So Goncharova is now a point behind. I'm still going to say two points. I still going to say. Yeah, and me. And that's hey, it. There we go. go. That's how you shoot the fourth. Oh, that's what we were talking about. High ten count. First thirty of the month. First thirty of the night. Yeah. Yep. Now. I see Mola just trying to compose herself now after Mola her. Now needs to look calm and cool. After her nine eight. Keep her shot strong. She'll be. Should be good. Uh, There's a 10. She needed that. Ooh. She did. So we are now Mola with a point lead. I'm still going to take two points. I'm just going to shoot first on the last end. Point, point one, two point, one or two points behind, I think. So yeah. That was a big, big last arrow there for oh, Mola. Yeah. That needed to go in the Mola needed that. Yeah. I just thought that she was taking a long time to get composed, but it turns out that there was actually a timing error on the boards yeah. so she couldn't actually shoot until time started makes it even harder for it us. does yeah as much as it gives her more time to get composed and to uh, try and take the pressure off herself she'll be she'll be thinking about her last shots a lot at that point. so i was waiting for the judge to go over and have a good look clearly it was a pretty click all must be clear whatever it is gonna wait for the confirmed scores Thank you. Unofficially at the minute, Goncharova over X10 10. Yeah. So the total is 109. 109, she got 109, it. 30. Yeah. It was in. Got to be said from back here, it looked out, but I'm going to trust the judge on this one. We're on the wrong side of it, though. Yeah, we are. We have our little screen, we're okay. Yeah. We have, we have what, we, what we need here. So, this match is wide open again. Yeah. There we see. It, like the last match, so. There we see us in our little gazebo yeah. again, then. Apparently, the camera loves us today. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have known, I'd have had a shot. I know, it's so. <laughs> Right. So, Gontrow is going to want to lead off strong here. Yeah. Just to really give her a chance in the match. First arrow is going to set the tone. Yeah. 
Gondrovic and carry a 10 zone. Like I said, if you come on the back of three 10s, you've really got momentum building through the match. Wrong. She shoots wrong. Good uh, shot. Ooh, Ooh it's a wide oak. Close at that. So, Moller can close this straight down now. Moller with a 10 and she's got a three point lead with uh, two yeah. shots to go. That's a bit of a mountain to climb. That's nine. That's nine. That's good. Ooh. So, Moli sitting with a two point lead, two arrows. Gonshrove have really got to start shooting tens now. She wants to find a way back in. No. Oh. Yep. That's, That's on the menu. That's ten. Have that. That's a good ten as well, strong. Solid ten. Okay, the pressure's going to be cranking up on Mola now. She needs at least a nine to keep her lease. Nine. It's a nine. It's one point. So, one point, one arrow. Just sitting on a one point match. Awesome. The drivers looking pretty strong up there. That looked good as an X. There you go. That's exactly what she needed. So now it's a 10 to win. And a 9 to tie the match yeah, up for a show off. Yeah, there's not a lot more pressure on this. Mala's heartbeat must be through the roof at the minute. I think she looks pretty calm. She looks calm, she looks classic. Oh, it looks a 9, we've got a shoot off. Okay. Second match of the day, first shoot off. Right. It's got to be said, based on their on their roots here. No, I'm going to favour Gondra over. She won with a nine in the first round. But, uh, she's the expert coming back in matches. She is. Big time turnaround in that match. Yeah. Actually, you no, know, she's won two. Two shoot offs. Wow. Two shoot offs. Yeah. Well, just wait for uh, official confirmation of that, as you must, just in case anything. In case there is any oh, light cutters that we didn't see. Again, that, that fourth end swung this match. Yeah. We see it in the last match, we see it in this one. Yeah. You know, it does just take someone to shoot a 30 and suddenly oh, the match yep. there you go. Ty's confirmed from Ty's the judge. confirmed and we are going to a shoot-off. Yep. Change faces and off we go. Would you be willing to pick a favourite going into the shoot-off? Well, guns are over, we shoot fast. You see, so that's... It works two ways. Yeah, it's, that, could, <laughs> that could be a help or a hindrance in the match, really. If you plant it in the X-ring. If, if you can go up and shoot it then, then you're in pretty good stead. You see the Danish option Mola trying to keep us up dry, trying to keep us warm, just to keep our muscles warm enough for this shoot off. Not over shot six tens in this match, where Mola's only shot four. It's just those few odd shots that. So. I mean, the first end of ten, ten, seven. Yeah. You know, it just takes one arrow to be a little bit wide. And I still you know. think that was the, the rain on the slider. Yeah, it's got to be said. Here we go. So. First shoot off, the crowd is getting behind their archers. What can you do? Let's see what Gontrode is made of here. That's looks good, she looks strong. Pretty pretty confident looking shot. Good shot. That's a 10. Line cut a 10. No, we're about shaft in there. 5 mil in? 5 mil, yeah, 5 6. Beatable, but it's a stronger. Uh, Mola's shot better 10s in this during the match, can she do it? She Ooh, can. Mola wins it with an X. Wow. That was. Uh, that was that a close shot. Losing, losing one hour of the ten. That's tough. Seeing it more and more though. Oh yeah. yeah. They are two great shots. Yeah, that was really good. Mola qualified number one. Finished number one. <laughs> strong, strong. No. So, certainly the favourite going into this match. I think when you win on a tie break, it just feels like a little bit sweet. <laughs> it does. It feels that much sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. And she, can, she had control of the match. She let Gontrova back in, but then she's like, no way, I'm not losing this. Really good. Really good final. So the girls have set the tone with some good matches. They have, certainly. Bringing on the boys next uh, in the compound cadet the men field? bronze when the field is reset. And uh, now we have. Beggar Timo, Timo Beggar, Timo Beggar, Timo Beggar, Luxembourg, Beger. and James House from Great Britain. So, what do we know about Beggar? Yeah. Um, Beggar shot, I believe, shot pretty well during qualifying.